Hi there, and thanks for taking the time to watch my short video blog. My name is James Gorey from OptAlert. I'd like to share with you some interesting statistics on one of the least recognised demons in our society. That demon is fatigue. I joined this company a few months back, and I was surprised by the amount of trouble that people were actually having with fatigue and the causes and the consequences of fatigue. I was amazed to discover that one in three fatalities on the roads are directly related to this hidden killer. As a community, we have, in my view, grappled with many measures to reduce risks on our roads and in our workplaces. We have installed smoke detectors to stop people and the properties getting burnt and destroyed. We have mandated seat belts to be worn to reduce injury in our motor vehicles and trucks and cars. And we put speed cameras in place to reduce speed-related incidents. And we've also put rules around alcohol consumption and put breathalysers in place to measure abuse. But nothing to detect and measure fatigue. Interestingly, as I mentioned, fatigue causes about one third of the fatalities on our roads. And all that we have are a few TV ads and a few warning signs on the side of the road. An interesting statistic is that did you know that after being awake for 17 to 19 hours, that is equivalent to driving with a blood alcohol concentration of about 0 0.05. And not sleeping for 20 to 25 hours could give you an equivalent reading of 0.1. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't like to drive after being awake for 17 hours. And I'm sure we all have, though. In my view, society needs to take a real look at how it can address the gap in understanding fatigue and put measures in place to stop unnecessary deaths on our roads and in our workplaces. Examples of disasters that have been caused with fatigue involved is Eight Mile Island, Chernobyl and Exxon Valdez. Fatigue was, in all of those, a part of the reason why the accidents happened. At OptAlert, we have a technology that detects the early onset of fatigue. It is really simple to use and proven and endorsed by Harvard as the gold standard. It's a pair of glasses that measures your blinking and from these observations we give you alerts before that micro sleep could strike. Now a micro sleep can only last sometimes as little as three seconds but in three seconds if you are driving at a hundred kilometers per hour that could equate to over a hundred meters. And I don't know about you but I wouldn't like to drive with my eyes closed at a hundred kilometers an hour. Staying alert and alive is important to us at our company. And remember, the only cure for fatigue is a good night's sleep. Or, alternatively, you could use OptAlert to warn yourself or your employees in advance so you don't cut your life short. Thank you for listening, and I'll speak to you again. Thank you.